Hello everyone, welcome to the Security Center Practical Series. In today's session, we will study configuring Linux system to send syslog messages to a syslog server and read the messages. So, we will be using two Linux systems, two virtual machines. So, one will act as the client, other will act as a server. So, the software resource we will be using is the host OS will be Windows 10 and the we will be using two guest OS one is Kali Linux and the other is the clone of Kali Linux so we could have used another Ubuntu but uh, in case of other uh, Linux machines we don't get the root access so in Kali we can get it directly get the root access so that sudo commands can be easily used and this is the virtualization software there is Oracle VirtualBox 7.0 so let us start now so now we just open this VirtualBox so in my case I only had this uh, Kali Linux I also have cyber ops but the sudo commands they are not working on this so what I did is we can just right click here and just click on this clone so it will ask us full clone or link clone so we can actually click on full clone and uh, then we can start this so we also have this skip disk names or whatever it is okay so because I already created this okay so we actually here we need to need some, we give them some name here so because I already have this clone written in my case if I write it one so it will give me finish and it will create one more but I don't want to create so in case if you don't have you can create one this uh, we could have even used Ubuntu but in that case we don't get the sudo access so I just click here start this machine and also here and start both the machines together now we will log into the two machines the first machine so I'll just enter the user credentials so log into the first machine and come to the second one and also log into the second machine with the given credentials so one of the machine will be used as the client the other will be used as a server so in this case in my case this one particular machine will be used as the server syslog and this one will be used uh, as the client so we will send the messages from this uh, machine and we will get the information in this particular machine let us see how we can do that now after logging into the machine the very first thing is we open up a terminal and know the IP address of this server which so if config so this is the IP address we will note down this IP address it is 192.168.30.1 136 so this will be using while configuring doing the configuration in the, the client we can even check the IP address of uh, the client machine so open up a terminal and if so this is the IP address so it is uh, 192.168.30.244 we can check even ping is working from here we will ping the server so one 92.168.30.136 so yes ping is working so I'll just uh, control C and come out now we come to the now in my case the IP address was 192.168.30.136 in your case it may be different so just uh, don't worry about that you just note down this uh, IP address and use it while configuring I am having an active internet connection because I will update this and also install our syslog so if it is already installed then it is okay no need to uh, install it again so I'll just show the steps apt then uh, update so password is Kali so it is updated now we install our syslog so sudo apt install our syslog so it is already the newest version now it is already installed it means so next is sudo system ctl then enable our syslog so we enable it 
next we start it using the command and uh, we can even check the status sta so status of our syslog so as you can see uh, started our syslog service so now with control c will come out now next we need to get access to the configuration file and make some changes there so sudo nano then etc then our syslog dot c o n f so we get this configuration file so in this configuration file what changes we make is in this part provides udp syslog reception okay. so we need to enable this so i'll just uncomment this line and also this line delete this hash so it becomes uncommented also uncomment this part so i've just uncommented this so, so that it is able to receive the messages from udp as well as tcp processes now after uncommenting i just exit control x y for yes and enter so now this is done now to apply the settings we'll just read to restart this so sudo system ctl then restart r syslog so now we are done with the server configuration now we come to the client so here i open up a terminal then uh, sudo apt update update the system kali next we will install the syslog now we have uh, sudo apt install r syslog so it is already installed now we access the configuration file as we did in that previous case r syslog dot cunf so this is what we get in the configuration file so we just come to this provide gdp syslogs reception so i just uncomment this part this part as we did in the server next we add two lines here so that even the authentication information so a u t h dot then uh, star at now we i have noted down the ip address of the server so it enter the ip address 192.168.30.136 okay we add one more line this line is actually for uh, udp messages same way for tcp also we need that authentication part so to add the rates here then the ip address 192. One six eight dot thirty dot one three six. Okay, so this is we have to add these two lines. Now we we'll exit from here, and yes for Y for yes and enter. Now this is done. Now we come back to the server. Okay, open up the terminal, and here uh, we want to check the logger information. So I'll just type the command tail, then dash f. then var so that we get the real time logging information here we can see that so this is the logging information will be we, we are getting now now we come back to the client and uh, type the command logger so that we get that logger information logger then n now the ip address of the kali machine this is 192 uh, the server kali server 192.168.30.136 then the port num port number is a uh, 514 of syslog and here we have the message uh, test 
for i smile and we enter okay so now let us come back to the server and check we are getting this message so here as we can see this is the message we are getting a customized message okay from the machine and this is the message so this in this case we have logged in the information we got the this, this message from the other machine into this particular server so that's all for this session thanks for watching